A notorious fashion photographer who has been um, accused of sexual assault and in some instances even rape since 2001 has finally been blacklisted from uh, some of the largest fashion magazines in the country. Now this photographer is Terry Richardson and I am gonna go into some of the unfortunate details of the accusations against him. But uh, recently there was an email leaked to the press that was written by the executive vice president and chief operating officer of Condé Nast. Condé Nast owns a number of these huge fashion magazines. And uh, essentially the email said, uh, we should probably drop this guy and do so immediately. Let me get to the details. So James uh, Woodhouse is the executive that I was speaking of uh, and he is uh, of course the head of Condé Nast International, the parent company which publishes editions of magazines such as Vogue, Vanity Fair, GQ and Glamour. He sent an email to his staff informing them to terminate all future work contracts with Richardson. Now pause, before I get to the email and the wording of it, keep in mind that these accusations have been around since 2001 and it wasn't until now, 2017, 16 years later that they have decided to uh, terminate all contracts with Terry Richardson. And of course this has everything to do with what's been in the news recently um, with Harvey Weinstein and, and also Bill O'Reilly. So it's just, it's fascinating how they're willing to act as soon as they realize that it might hurt their brand. Now look, the Roger Ailes accusations go back decades. Cosby goes back decades, uh, O'Reilly goes back a long, long time, six different settlements, etc. Uh, but in Terry Richardson's case, a lot of it was public. Like with Ailes, we didn't know mm -hmm. the, the settlements had been happening behind the scenes. With Cosby, some knew, and etc. But most people didn't know. Same thing with Weinstein. Here, the accusations were very public for at least three years, and they're like, no, but we're still making money. Uh, so we're okay. That's right, yeah. And now it's like, ah, oh, it's kind of tipped over where it might cost us money. So, okay, oh, right, morals, right, that's what we meant. And, and Terry Richardson also photographed more than celebrities. I mean, he uh, did a photo shoot with Obama, with Oprah Winfrey, um, with all sorts of people. And so he was powerful, you know, incredibly powerful within uh, the photography industry. So, uh, yeah, and look, you know, I have a great disdain for the fashion industry anyway. Uh, like, mm -hmm. oh, wow, he takes pictures of people next to a white wall. That's tantalizing. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, but like this whole idea of, uh, like, but every story is talking about Obama. He took a picture of Obama. Like, it almost seems like, like, oh, Harvey Weinstein gave money to to Democrats, mm -hmm. or you know, and Ailes and, and O'Reilly, the Republicans apologized for them, and blah blah blah. blah right? No, wait, wait, this doesn't have anything to do with politics. How the hell would Obama in 2007 when he took that picture know when that stuff was not at all public at that time? Like, so do you have to check the resume and the and then go beyond the resume and find out allegations against anyone who takes your picture. So that's mental, so let's stop talking about that immediately. Yeah, yeah, okay. and by the way, I only mention that because of how powerful Terry Richardson was and how No, I know, but everybody's was. bringing it up. No, no, no I that's get it, why. I get it. But yeah, it's not like Obama was complicit in any of this or even knew about any of this when he did the photo shoot. Anyway, moving on. Um, so the email that was leaked to the press said the following, Condé Nast would like to no longer work with the photographer Terry Richardson. Any shoots that have been commissioned or any shoots that have been completed but not yet published should be killed and substituted with other material. Okay, great, finally they're acting uh, on what people have been pressuring them to act on for a long time now. But you know, for those of you who are wondering, what are some of these allegations? Well, let's go all the back, all the way back to 2001. And uh, this was an allegation by one of the models that he had done a photo shoot with. Here's what she had to say. He wanted me to be completely naked and pretend to give one of the men a sex act while he was also naked. In 24 years of modeling, I have only walked out once. He made me feel as if I was a prostitute. By the way, uh, the other man who uh, she was allegedly asked to do a sex act on was one of Richardson's friends, not another model or anything oh, like that. Oh, what a coincidence. Yeah. Now, um, there were also, you know, some issues with images that he had taken, although he claims that these images have always been consensual. Images include one of his 20-year-old intern in a bin performing oral sex on Richardson with the word slut written on her forehead. That seems very classy. Back in 2014, there was another model who uh, accused him of, you know, inappropriate behavior. Her name, she was only identified as Anna. She said that he had me kind of crouched down on the floor as I moved around posing. Then suddenly I felt his pressing into the side 
outside of my face. Terry Richardson's semi-hard penis was plunged into the outside of my cheek and he was jabbing it into my face. He pressed it to my lips. He clearly wanted a blow job and wanted it documented on camera. And then finally, I wanna leave you with a quote from Terry Richardson during an interview that he gave back in 2007. Here's what he had to say in regard to models who are trying to make it in the industry. Like I've always said, it's not who you know, it's who you blow. I don't have a hole in my jeans for nothing. Okay, gee, I wonder if he did it, I can't quite tell. Now, uh, his excuse now is, a quote, I collaborated with consenting adult women who are fully aware of the nature of this work. No, 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 so for some, Again, some of the articles talk about he took explicit fashion pictures. Nobody cares about that. I don't care if he took porn pictures. That's all I care about is are they consenting or are they not consenting, right? Is and so if people came in and they want to take racy pictures, great, take racy pictures, okay? You want to take porn pictures? Go, go. I don't care, right? Um, I'm not the right wing. I don't believe in big government getting in the middle of you and your picture, okay? Mm -hmm. On the other hand. If you're going around without asking women and all of a sudden doing what you describe, I don't even want to repeat it, right? Mm -hmm. That is clearly non consensual. You can't say, well, I mean, you're in the fashion business. Of course, you should expect that if you want to work in fashion, a man is going to jab his penis into your face. Like, no, no, they, that is not a collaboration. They didn't agree to that. Mm -hmm. And I think that he just feels entitled. Like, I work in fashion, we're scumbags. Not all, and by the way, I'm not saying that. Uh, and as I have disdain for the so-called art in, in a lot of fashion, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't think I hope that this is he's an outlier. Mm -hmm. And but his way of thinking is, hey, if you want to work in fashion, you have to submit to gross men like me, who will then write slut on your forehead after I have taken advantage of you as an intern, right? Yeah. And even if that one was consensual, then I'll humiliate you afterwards, and then I'll brag publicly about how I, you know. Force you guys into oral sex, otherwise I wouldn't have given you a job and you wouldn't have had a career. This is not a complicated case and it took until now to fire him. And look, the reason why um, I think people should be criticized for, for not firing him earlier is because he had that attitude because he was emboldened by the fact yes. that he never suffered any consequences. There were never any ramifications for his actions. And so when you send that message to someone like this, then he'll not only continue doing it, he'll do it more brazenly. And that's that's what it appeared to be. That's how he appeared to behave. Not even behind the scenes, just openly and and you know, with, with no remorse whatsoever. No, you can't send women <laughs> to a photo shoot with him and not, and not give them a warning and not just it's like I don't care what they do if it's consensual. Don't care, don't care, don't care. But you can't send an unsuspecting woman whose career depends on this, and he's a powerful photographer, which is absurd anyway, but fine, right? And but in their career depends on it. And you know, and he has publicly said, I will not give them anything unless they perform oral sex on me. And you send them in anyway. No, that's just it's I think that we had no idea, and, and you know, it's maybe you could think it's, and I, I think, I think I, it's weird. I also think it's weirdly naive of us. Mm -hmm. I'm 47, and I'm still this naive in the year 2017 that I'm shocked by all this. Mm -hmm. Like, like if you told me there's a casting couch in Hollywood in the 1950s, I'd say, of course, yeah, I get it. That there's a reason why that term exists. It said, did men uh, abuse their power in the 40s, 50s, 60s in Hollywood? I would have said, yeah, of course, I imagine so, right? Mm -hmm. But in the year 2015, 16, 17, you still, in order to work in, we've heard a lot of cases in music, in fashion, in movies, in, in news. news, right? No, yeah. if you're a woman, you must give the powerful men what they want, otherwise your career is over. I mean, Jesus Christ, I am so glad that is the spotlight is being put on it. Uh, and this is what leads to equality and not this abuse of power that these guys have been doing for decade after decade. So I'm sure that like O'Reilly and all the rest, he'll now be crying about God and how he's the victim and hiding behind other people, right? Oh My God, after I abused all those women and made all that money and I got all that power and fame for decade after decade, now at the end, I've been caught and slightly punished, boo hoo. Take your boo hoo somewhere else and send us a picture of your tears. Oh, Zinger, <laughs> okay. But will there, will there be a white wall in the background? If there is, it's gonna be art. <laughs>
If you like this video, you'll love the whole TYT network. Check it out at tytnetwork.com slash join.